Everyone, welcome back to the East Combat 5 playthrough. This is it, people. So now the Our other mission. forces will engage in a decisive battle with the enemy's main force in the Jalachi Desert. It'll be an enormous battle. If our army wins this showdown of military might, we'll be just a hair away from total victory. You'll be responsible for neutralizing the enemy forces that are blocking our army's advance on the left flank of the front lines. OCA is relying on you, people. Don't let us down. This mission will be referred to as Operation Desert Blitz. Duke de Bania has an airfield in the western region of the Jalachi Desert and an oil facility protected by defense positions in the southern part of the desert. These two locations are the target of this operation. The second tank battalion will handle the airstrip, while the third tank battalion will capture the oil facility. Your mission is to cover both of the ground forces as they advance. This operation will unfold across the southern region of the Jalachi Desert, but we expect fierce enemy resistance within the entire area. It's been reported that several enemy tank platoons have taken up positions around the airstrip, one of your mission targets. You'll be up against a large number of enemy forces, so choose your opponents carefully. Don't try to take on all of them. Destroying a certain number of enemy forces within your allotted time on station will be considered successful completion of the mission. Operation Desert Blitz commences today at 10.50 hours. Okay, so this one is more focused on ground targets. Normally I would choose a... Oh yeah, I guess we'll go with the Rafael. As they like, especially because of the special missiles it has. At the end of the mission. We're gonna have to fight a cruiser. Man, and then, oh, this music this is, is great too. I can't believe they chose our next mission with a damn coin again. Dun, 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 a few LA SMs though. Since this mission will take very long. I actually supposed to talk about this in the previous mission. Something I didn't talk much about on uh, mission one, which is kind of my, my story with this game. Like I said in mission one, I played this game after Ace Combat Zero in 2006, right? Not too long after, actually. Because I, when I played Zero, 
I don't remember now exactly how I found out, but I, I found out that they already had done Ace Combat 5. Which, at the time, I, I didn't know, right? No internet and all. I just had to base on magazines to figure out info and all of that. But then I, I found out about this game. And, and like I said, I always felt like this game wasn't as good as, as 4 and 0 to me. And it's still... That's still... Still true for me. But this game also had a major importance for me in learning English, in learning a different language. Because for those of you who don't know, I'm, I am Brazilian, right? My, my native language is not English. Because this game has a lot of story, a lot of dialogue and all that, more than Ace Combat 4. So it was important for me too, in that sense. Not as much as Ace Combat 4, but it was important. I ended up playing a lot, you know, anyway, even though I didn't like it too much, I also played a lot, you know. Mission design doesn't appear to me very much, but the gameplay is okay. Pretty good, in fact. Because in 2000, 2006, when I, uh, 2006, I was, I was 11 years old, and I could understand English better, but... I could like translate, but it, it wasn't still coming out uh, uh, naturally for me. It wasn't it wasn't full automatic yet, like it is now. I had to read it and then remember, you know, try to figure out what the word was about. But I could still figure it out anyway. So I could understand some of the dialogue playing more than more than four and more than zero too. And I remember that I played a lot of the, the arcade mode of the game, which is where you play as, as Mobius 1 once you finish the game. Which I'm also going to be recording once I'm done with this. It was also pretty good too. I like the arcade, because the arcade there is just like pure gameplay and all that. It doesn't have a lot of dialogue. It doesn't have the waiting that this has. But I remember that I could not make the association that uh, Mobius 1 was the protagonist of Ace Combat 4 when I played it for, for like the first few times. I could not like, you know, realize, oh, this is, this is the same guy from Ace Combat 4. It was only later when I figured out. And around 2000, beginning 2007, the year later, I actually got more around the internet, you know, because I remember that we actually had a computer at home and all. We could use the internet. The internet was pretty bad, but it still worked. And I remember reading the Acepedia back then, at that year. Acepedia was born the year before. It was born in 2006. And I remember reading some stuff there. Of course, Acepedia back then had a lot of weird stuff. A lot of, like, uh, fake info and a bunch of uh, fan fiction on it. But I remember actually reading up and figuring out stuff about it. Either way, some of it was fake, and I I actually believe in the fake stuff for a long time. But, you know, for st stuff like uh, is that, I don't remember now, but like the, the stupid theory that sometimes show up even now and then about the game and all of that because of that. I took that for granted, of course. That's pretty much the only info I had. I know that it's late, like, starting using the internet in 2006 is, is, is late, but... Here in Brazil, at least in the past, I always used to get stuff late, you know? So, I got video games late, I started using the internet late and all of that. But that was good for, for, for a few things, like, I remember my first video game console was the, the Super Nintendo. And I got that in 2002. 
2002, PS2 was already around, you know. But it was good because I could live, I could, I could have that childhood when I played those classic games, and you know, all including Mega Man, Mario, and all of that. Same for the PS2 as well. But around the PlayStation 3 area, that's when I actually... That's when I could like follow up stuff a little bit. And also the Xbox. I also got the Xbox in 2000 and 2009 as well. So I only played Ace Combat 6 much later too. But I'll I'll I'll, I'll talk that when I do the Ace Combat 6 playthrough, which I I have I actually have to buy another one because I the one I had I got a yellow light of death back in 2017. So I'm gonna get another one to record a playthrough. I know you can you can run on the emulator, but the emulator is not running very well in the game right now. It has some weird bugs in the music and shit. Instead, I just want to do it on the console. Five minutes left, but I think I should hold on on the missiles a little bit. Use the guns more. I guess. Here's the oil field I talked about before. Be the last thing I'll do before the the mission of Dick shows up. Spar like here looks just like he's kind of a zero. Nine missiles, yeah, I really gotta hold on this. Of course, I still have the uh, anti-ship missiles, but... Never know. This is 
Really, from that far? Did you just say? Even my mom's what? First time I heard that. I would do the <laughs> the gun thing. Synchron synchronize a gun with the music, but I don't want to waste the demo. It should be around there or here. I think it's right around here. In fact, no, it's there. Enemy reinforcements have been spotted upstream of the river. There's a surface to surface missile platoon, and you gotta be kidding me. They've got a battleship. Wipe them all out and stop their fire to our ground forces. A battleship? Are you kidding me? Boy, we're lucky, aren't we? Always running into monsters like this. Hey, kid, you mind if I give up already? Oh shit! Target hit. Put two. Approaching gun range. Enemy long range supporting fire suppressed. Threat to Allied ground forces has been eliminated. Mission complete. Return to base. Okay. Now we're done with this mission. Thank God. It's like thirty mission, thirty minutes. Both of them. Please oh. begin landing checks. Cleared the land. Okay, sir. Turn right. Turn right. I know, Two sir. Two miles to touchdown. One mile to touchdown. Operation Desert Blitz was a success. Yuktabania's airfield and oil facility were completely destroyed thanks to the teamwork between the air and ground forces. The Ocean Army is advancing quickly on all fronts, and enemy forces in the southern part of the Jalachi Desert are on the verge of being annihilated. The ground forces, fresh off securing the Jalachi area of operation, have set off for Kruik Fortress in their quest to liberate Sinegrad. Our ground forces have scored a major victory. If we can destroy the fortress standing in our path, we'll open a road to the capital of Yuktabania. Then we'll storm the heart of the enemy. Hey. Oh, next mission should be, uh, should be journey home. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys soon.